Have you ever made a doll bed from a tissue box? Well, today I'm going to show you how. This box is about 2 inches tall and 9 inches wide. I don't think that's the regular dimensions, but I got mine from work and it's what I have to work with. This warm and natural batting, I think, is from Hobby Lobby and it was really inexpensive. It has the texture of felt, but maybe a higher quality felt. So now, I'm just going to put the glue on one side and we're going to glue this down side by side and we're going to make sure that there are no wrinkles on the other side by pulling it taut. So again, just going to um, run some glue down the back side, press that down, and going to do that exact same thing to the other side. And I'm pressing down kind of as firmly as I can. And I've made sure to center the box on the felt fabric. So you can see there are no wrinkles. Now I'm just cutting the excess off of this side where the headboard will go. I'm going to leave the excess on the foot side <laughs> or the footboard or lack of footboard is, you know what I mean. So then I'm just going to secure that down with glue, making sure that all of the green is covered. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and carefully snip the excess off where I'm going to glue on the headboard. So here is where I'm going to glue the sides down to the bottom of the box. And I was doing this, uh, like I said, one side at a time, just because I needed the fabric to, you know, form a, a certain way. Then at the bottom, I'm going to fold it down like this, almost like you're wrapping a package or a gift, and just going to secure that down with some glue. I want it nice and smooth, so make sure you press down while the glue is still warm so there are like no little lumps. Then I'm going to cut this excess off from both sides and it will look like this. And then you can keep it that way if you would like, but I'm gonna do an extra step and fold it once more. In miniatures, you have to kind of glue things into place how you want it to fall because it's not gonna fall naturally like in real life. So that is how that looks when it's hitting the floor. Now I'm just making the pillow and the thing with pillows is you do want to make them larger than you think you will need. <laughs> so um, I'm just folding that in half and then I unfolded it and folded the half in half <laughs> as you can see. And now I'm just cutting a little slit. This slit is going to be the opening for the pillow so that I can stuff it. I'm going to go on ahead and hot glue, or you can sew if you want, but I'm going to hot glue around the perimeter of it, just on the one half of it, because that's all you need. And I'm going to seal the bag or the pillowcase entirely, except for the slit at the back. Some pillows in real life are made like this, where the opening is at the back of the pillow and not the side, and I do prefer that method. After I flip the pillow inside out, then I take my cotton balls and I have a method for creating batting. I just unroll the cotton ball, but for this um, particular project, I'm going to leave the cotton balls rolled up and just stuff the pillow as much as I can. Now you do want to overstuff your pillows, that way they look nice and plump and full. So here is the finished result and now I'm going to make a sheet which is optional of course and right now I'm just seeing how best I would like to make this. I could have it folded or I can leave it unfolded. Now the thing about this felt type fabric is it doesn't unravel 
think I forgot to mention that. So the hymns on things are unnecessary and in that way it's very user friendly. While the glue is still warm, I want to mold a crease where I want the sheet to kind of lay naturally. Um, in a few minutes when I work with the blanket, I do a little bit different of a method and I think it works out much better, so make sure you watch that part. Now on to the fun part, and this is where we make the headboard. I got this little plank from Dollar Tree for $1.25 and you could have it vertical or you can run the slats horizontal. I thought it would be more modern to run the slats horizontal. I also want to add feet and these little wood blocks I also got from Dollar Tree for $1.25. So this is how I quote unquote stain my wood using this Tomboy alcohol brush in the color 977 I think it read. <laughs> and it just goes on really nicely. After you color your wood, you know, you can seal it with Mod Podge to prevent transfer to other materials, but you know, I didn't do that. Yeah. Um, it's very hard to color on camera. So I did the rest of this off camera, but I just wanted to let you know that you only need to spin your ink on the parts that are going to be visible. You don't need to waste your ink on the parts that won't get seen. So I also got these little balls from Hobby Lobby and they were on sale like 50% off. And they come with little gold tops. They're supposed to be charms, but you know, whatever. I made two of them and I glued down the tops and then I took some gold wire and I twisted the gold wire together to make it more strong and to also give it a little bit of a more elevated look and then I bent it into shape and then I fan out the feet of it just so the glue has more surface to adhere to. So that's what the ball looks like. And it's hanging from there and I want to make it like a headboard with little gold sconces. Hot glue doesn't really stick to metal so to further secure this piece I glue a little piece of fabric on the back. So now I'm going to go in and glue the feet on the back of it as well. And that's what those look like. And now I'm going to see where I need to glue for the headboard and then I attach the headboard while it's standing up and then I flip it on its back so that I can press down. I want a really secure hold with this glue because it's touching the fabric rather than the box. And so here are what the little dangly sconce lights look like. And here is the sheet and I really like my pillow but when I put it on as you can see it was so big that these sconces were uh, kind of in the way of it now if I didn't add the sconces then the pillow would definitely work but since that's not the case I just cut this big pillow in half and I'm gonna see what I could do to work with it I'm folding one side over to snip a little slit and then I'm going to flip it inside out and stuff that with more cotton balls.
with the other half I could have stuffed it but for some reason I didn't want to I thought it looked more realistic like two pillows if one was like a little bit smushed behind the other I don't know what I was thinking I don't know um, but I think it's came out looking really nice and I like how it how it looks so these are the joggers that I got from my Target trip very recently and I'm just in love with this kind of mauve rose color and unfortunately since it's for like a toddler I don't have that much fabric to work with so I'm trying to practice economy when I work with this particular fabric so my idea was to take some wire since wire is bendable and run it through a tube <laughs> of the fabric and that way it can bend and I don't have to like I can control you know manipulate how it how it falls as you can see I made the wires shorter than the fabric and I did that so I could fold down the edges now this method right here <laughs> when I did it on camera didn't come out quite as I would have wanted it and I ended up off camera cutting that piece off that I messed up and just making that tube and putting the wire in it. And by the way, if you curve your wire like so, it goes in a lot smoother. Now, as mentioned, I'm just gonna glue down and fold the sides, or fold the sides and glue them down. <laughs> um, and that's why I made the wires a little bit shorter. Than the fabric so here is what that finished product looks like and it just folds so nicely I think I'm gonna do this for all of my projects um, that involve bedding and I went out and bought more wire so this definitely works so now let's make a nightstand and I got this little bowl from a six-pack from Dollar Tree and the circles from a six pack from Walmart and with the wood circle I'm just going to use that marker to stain it again and to add some a little oomph to the, the bowl I'm going to add this little faux suede ribbon around it and I like how that catches um, the accent now I have these little brown beads that I could glue to the bottom for feet but I think I'm going to go ahead and double the height with an additional little bowl. So I'm putting the bed in here in the room and it looks so good against the brick wallpaper that I'm using. The wallpaper is from Target and I'm putting my nightstand in and this flooring by the way is the flooring that is at Dollar Tree for $1.25. It's not flooring it's like bone stick wallpaper but you know we use it for flooring because of that awesome chevron pattern this is a diffuser that i made and it will be available in my shop very soon this is the what is this called a rock salt lamp <laughs> that i made it does work but the orange glow is not really the vibe i'm going for so i'm just going to leave it off so that the paints match So here's the reveal video that I made. It's posted on my Instagram at Adult Doll Collector. Make sure you're following. And as you can see, I put that white chair right in the corner and it goes perfectly. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!